manners in the lunchroom. It's time for lunch. Using good manners in the lunchroom makes lunchtime comfortable for everyone. Good manners help make eating lunch more fun. There are lots of ways you can use good manners in the lunchroom. Mr. Coleman's class heads to the lunchroom to eat. Leah and Carlos wait patiently in line. Leah and Carlos are using good manners. May I please have some corn? Alex asks the lunch server. He thanks her when she puts the corn on his tray. He is using good manners. May I sit here? A new girl asks Heather. Sure, says Heather. She moves over to make room. Heather is using good manners. Justin and his friends talk quietly at the table. They never shout or yell. They are using good manners. Morgan takes a bite of her apple. She chews with her mouth closed. She waits to talk until she's finished chewing. She is using good manners. Dalton needs help opening his thermos. He raises his hand and waits patiently until the lunch monitor comes. He's using good manners. Lucy accidentally spills her milk. Her friends help her clean up the mess. They are using good manners. Nick uses a fork and a spoon to eat his food. He doesn't use his fingers. He's using good manners. Timothy and Sasha pick up after themselves. They scrape their trays clean. They put their milk cartons on the recycling bin. They are using good manners. It is important to use good manners in the lunchroom. Using good manners shows respect to other students and school staff. Good manners make it possible for everyone to enjoy lunch. In Spain, many kids go home for lunch instead of eating at school. In Hungary, lunch is usually the largest meal of the day. In Japan, many kids eat box lunches called bento. The boxes often contain food such as rice, meat, and vegetables. In the United States, the National School Lunch Program gives more than 30 million kids low-cost free lunches. In France, the school lunch break is two hours long. And in Thailand, some kids don't have enough room for lunchroom. Students eat in their classrooms.